So time for the top on them and the rain, the rain is still coming down. This race is over the national fences as well. And it's a grade three handicap with two more five furlongs. Top one is Brazilian Orange Boom, Darren Thompson. Wendy's Worms for Graham Clutterbuck. Taurus Rainbow for John Morgan. Dog Hairs for David Robertson. Lord Glenn Carrag. Martin Lidham. Parsons Gate for Jim Murray. Doug's Musty and Tainted Half, both for Stu Gray. Winter Blues for Kevin Meenahan. Ralph for James Follis. And Majesty for Alex Cherry. So a really small field for this then. Normally a big field for this race, and away they go. And the rain is still hammering down. And could make this a little bit tricky as they come towards the first of the fences. And over it they all go. And safely got to the other side. And Parsons Gate and Wendy's Worms are disputing the lead. As they come down to what I think may well be the chair next. It is indeed. And over it they go. And they're all safely over that one then with Parsons Gate in the lead. Wendy's Worms in second. And Tara's Rainbow in the pale blue jacket is third. The Grey's Doghouse. Then Doug's Musty as they take the water. With Lord Glencarag just the back marker at this early stage of the race. So one complete circuit of the national fences then. With the exception of course of the chair and the water. They've already jumped that. Just that one fence with the last fence is the only one they jumped twice. And Parsons Gate is the leader coming down to what will be the first fence in the big race tomorrow I think we've got a particularly big field in the Grand National this year either it was just about 30 when I last looked but it's uh, still an interesting race and Parsons Gates the leader from Wendy's Worms in second and Doug's Musty is third Tars Rainbow fourth as they come down to the fourth and they're all safely over that one a little bit of a mistake by Majesty at the back and Parsons Gate has gone on as they take the second Safely over that one as well. Come down to this big ditch, which is number three in the Grand National, number six today. Parsons Gate is the leader. Jumped it slowly but safely. They all got over it well. Plenty of air. And Parsons Gate in the lead as they race down there. These couple of fences towards Beaches Brook. And they're all over that one. With Parsons Gate the leader. Tara's Rainbow second, Wendy's Worms is next, Doug's Musty is getting a little bit closer, so too is Winter Blues, Ralph tucked in behind them, then Dog Hairs and Brazilian Orange Boomers, they take the eighth, all safely over that one as well with Tainted Half, now it's just the back marker alongside Majesty, but it's almost three in a line up front now, Parsons Gate, Wendy's Worm, Winter Blues as they take Beaches Brook, uh, they're all safely over that one, so all jumping well so far despite the conditions and Winter Blues has gone on from Wendy's Worms and Parsons Gate as they skip over Foyne Haven that one over that one okay as well and Winter Blues leading by a couple they come down to take the canal turn Nicely over that one as well. Then Winter Blues now quickly gone five clear, racing down towards Valentine's with Parsons Gate in second. Taj Rainbow is third, then comes Ralph from Windy's Worms. Lord Glen Craig is getting a bit closer as they skip over Valentine's. Then they're all safely over that one as well. And it's Winter Blues clear by about five. Then two Parsons Gate in second. Taj Rainbow is third. Ducks Musty is four. Then Windy's Worms. Lord Glen Craig is getting much closer. Then comes Ralph from Brazilian Orange Boom. Take it half trying to get into it. The two greys are at the back. That's Doghouse and Majesty. So they come down towards the next then. And they skip over that, that's the fourth from home. And it's still Winter Blues in the lead from Parsons Gate, Taras Rainbow and Lord Glen Kerrig. Then comes Doug's Musty. Down towards the third last they go then now and over that one. The leader made a mistake, went down on his nose, but he got away with it. Parsons Gate though is now taking it up. It's Parsons Gate in the lead. Winter Blues recovers. Then comes Lord Glen Kerrig third. Taras Rainbow being pushed along. Then Doug's Musty. Then Brazilian Orange Boom and Ralph has still plenty of chances. Nothing's fallen yet. They've got two more fences to take. And it's still Parsons Gate. Parsons Gate, but here comes Tara's Rainbow on the outside. Tara's Rainbow now swoops through on the outside to take it up. It's Tara's Rainbow. Jockey takes a bit of a pull. Tara's Rainbow in the lead. Parsons Gate, Winter Blues, Lord Glencarag, Brazilian Orange Boom, and Doug's Musty trying to run off from the back. He's Doghouse. They've still got two to jump. And a long running as well. Don't forget, it's Parsons Gate in the lead. Parsons Gate from Tara's Rainbow over the second last they go. Parsons Gate on the inside. Tara's Rainbow on the outside. Brazilian Orange Boom is looking for room. Lord Glencarag is next. Then Winter Blues, Doug's Musty tainted half and 
Also still there, Doghouse, Ralph's trying to run on as well, and so too is Wendy's Worms, they're over the final fence, and it's Tara's Rainbow in the lead, but Brazilian Orange Boom looks to be cruising in third, but Parsons Gate still there on the inside as well, Doghouse is now getting into it, and on the long run in, it's Tara's Rainbow in the lead, Tara's Rainbow by a length, to Brazilian Orange Boom in second, they've got half a foot on to go, Brazilian Orange Boom is beginning to close in on the lead, but Tara's Rainbow is just searching again, Tara's Rainbow from Brazilian Orange Boom, Tara's Rainbow takes it, Brazilian Orange Boom in second, Parsons Gate's third, Doghouse is fourth, and Tainted Half and Dogs Musty, Lord Glencoe dropped away in the end, and um, Majesty was last, and they all got round, despite the conditions, Tara's Rainbow takes it for John Morgan, Brazilian Orange Boom for Darren Thompson was second, Parsons Gate, Jim Murray third, Doghouse for David Robertson was fourth, and Dogs Musty for Stu Gray was fifth.